because they don't call her blessed. You know why? And and take it back to the sisters that's in the truth. And I'm gonna I'm I'm put it on the sisters that's not just the power camp, but four corners of the earth that sacrifice and that's putting in. You know, sisters that's online that's 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 putting in, you know what I'm saying? For their husbands the best they, the best that they can. The scripture says their children is gonna call them blessed. And you know why? You know why one of the, one of the big reasons why their children will call them blessed? You ever been to school and saw kids that were bad as hell? And you were like, man, why are you so bad? Well, when you look at those kids, imagine how their parents were. Their parents were crazy. Their parents were really bad. They grew up with no guidance. The mom was always in the, in the clubs. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, she's at the club. The kid got to grow up on microwave meals because she she's at the club. The kids, when they do eat, it's McDonald's, Happy Meals. So when that kid get around somebody that, that knows how to, that, when that kid gets around a woman that knows how to be a mom, they're like, wow, my mom is like this. And then that woman that just does a little bit, she's known as being blessed. How many of our grandparents how many of our grandmothers, we look at our grandmothers like, we love our grandmothers, we cherish our grandmothers. But you know why? Because our grandmothers, they're older, so they're a little bit, and, and age don't make you more wise. It does to an extent, but you do have old fools. But what happens is they're, they're at this age, they've grown out, the, they've grown past the maturity. So now they understand they're more mature. You know, so with time, so now they know how to deal. So a lot of our sisters, unfortunately, and brothers, we grew up loving our, our grandmothers. Why? Because our grandmothers, they had more of that mature, nurturing, care, and love. It was in them. Whereas, unfortunately, you know, a lot of our mothers, at the time, when they were raising us, they were born, you know, into the party and living their young life, right? Off of what you're saying, yeah, just off of what you're saying, and just the first two scriptures are dope because it's showing that. Uh, I know you got it in there, but you know, listen, everybody wants to be respected, everyone wants to be held at a high or looked at on a high stature, on a high level. But just going to these two scriptures, and that problem is special, it wasn't that they woke up and Oh, bless mama, she's the best because she wasn't doing it. Because she was because she uh wasn't taking the initiative. When you read that Proverbs, you know, it's talking about the characteristics of this woman. And this this is part of the reward. You know, again, we all want to have that level of respect, we all want to have that uh that praise, right? Uh that recognition. We all want that. I mean, at the end of the day, we want it from our peers. We want it from our family. We want it from the most high, mostly. Right? And there's nothing wrong with you wanting it. There's nothing wrong with wanting a, a, your husband to tell you, good job. Did you earn it? Did you earn it? Did you do the things that were necessary that warranted? Let me wake up and, 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 and give this woman her props. Well, the scriptures do say, let, a, let other men praise you. Right? <laughs> the scriptures say let, let other men let other men praise you and not your own lips. So it is it is a good thing to be able to get up, um, you know, sit back and just think about your family as a man. You sit back, you think about your family, you think about your rib, you think about your kids, and you're like, man, she's holding it down. Man, she's uh, she's a support. She's she's doing all the things that. The scriptures say a good wife should be doing. 